RPCS3 base settings for low NPC. In this video, I'm going to give you the base settings for RPCS3. These settings will help you get the smooth gameplay and lag free experience. Okay, let's get straight to it. Firstly, go to configure and under the CPU, set the PPU decoder to recompiler and also the same option for a SPU decoder. Now, select the SPU block size to save and change the preferred SPU threads to 2. Under the additional settings, you can tick on this enable SPU loop detection. Now, go to CPU. Now you can set the renderer to Vulkan or OpenGL which one works best for you. You can try one at a time and decide. And for the graphics device, choose the graphics that is pre-installed on your PC. Now for the shader mode, choose the third option that is async with shader interpreter and change the number of shader compiler threads to 2. Now come under the audio, there's just one setting that is change this audio buffer duration to 150ms. Now we don't have any base settings for I.O. that is input output system and network. Go to emulator firstly, I'll come back to advanced later. I scroll down under the emulator and then we're gonna change this maximum LRVM compile threads to 3. Now there's no such base settings for GUI. Now go to advanced tab that I left earlier. I scroll down. Now the settings that I'm gonna do on this tab might cause lags in few games but it will give a very smooth gameplay experience for most of the games. So let's do it. Change the maximum number of sparse threads to 3 firstly. Now if the game is still lags, you're gonna increase this by one at a time until the game becomes lag free. So you're gonna keep it to 3 firstly and then you can increase by one at a time if the game lags. Let's keep it to 3. Now these are the best settings and after applying all the settings, move this window a little bit up and scroll up here. Let's check all the settings once again. And then we can just click on apply and save. So these settings will help you get the best experience on RPCS3. If you like this video then just give a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe my channel. Okay bye.